20th anniversary of Smallville just happened. And, um, you know, they got the Blu-rays out and, you know, all the stuff. Tom and I did some press. And uh, what do you think? It's pretty It's pretty crazy. It's been 20 years. Now, you got involved in what, season five? Four. Four? Yeah. Season four. So you were with the show for seven, six out of the 10 years. Seven years. Seven. What do you remember? What good memories do you honestly have? Like, do you for, that come to you right away? Not that you have to search for, but what are some oh. some moments that you have that you remember? I was happy every time I was walking from my trailer to set. I was excited. I remember marching there in my little fry boots, ready to march in and just be in in the studio and have fun. And I mean, I really, literally loved it. The only times I was ever really pissed is when it was three in the morning. And I was in this strapless dress and I was cold <laughs> and Welling or you were wearing like fucking suits. But otherwise I, I loved it. I was so excited to go in and do the different scenes. I thought the sets were like when I first got there and I looked at these real sets, cause I had no idea what to expect. I thought it would be like, ting, like a tin can or something and a couple of chairs, right? Yeah. Like and then you walk in and it's a real barn and it's a real house and, you know, the vibe of everybody wanting to produce and, and do something really cool together that was excited about it. I thought that that was really neat. Um, I liked the stunts. I love that every time I went in, I did something different. Like every episode, I was doing something completely different. Now, in the first couple of years, I was like, I, would, I called myself the ba-bum-bum bum, ch- chick, which was like basically. <laughs> Say the punchline, ha-ha, boom. Yeah, like there'd be a really important heartfelt scene and then I would come in at the end and ruin it somehow and then I'd march out <laughs> <laughs> which was fine I was like that's probably all I could handle at that point I was so stressed out um I love the smallville back lot the back lot the back lot when we got closer to the last few years we actually had a full lot in the back it made me feel like we were on the Warner Brothers studio lot. you like that and it was just I loved it. yeah we could do all our walk and talks and I honestly am that cheesy person. I really loved it. You just enjoyed it all. But I remember, I remember you I, very I mean, old. That stuff annoyed me. Yeah, of course. The rain and cold um, of Vancouver. But I remember you also being um, incredibly lovable, charming, great to work with. But I do remember that nervousness sometimes. That, and that's the, a little bit much. The I pressure. Was no, it was the pressure you put on yourself. Yeah. It didn't It didn't affect anybody else. It was just affecting you in your head because you just had to be. And I have that issue, too, where I have to be great. I have to be great. It has to be great. Yeah. I have to get this. I, I, want, I don't want to you know, let people down. I don't want to let. And it's just like it's 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 that insecurity. Yeah. I've talked about it with a lot of people. And, you know, you try to again, you try to be cool and you're like, all right, did I do a good job? Am I, are you sure you got it? Are, you, are we moving on? Are you sure you want to move on? Are you, Shut the fuck up. But you, yeah. I'm talking about I me. I had that. I had that all the time. And it, part of it now I realize and is my way of, and, you know, you're, you're hearing this. People talk about this all the time. But, you know, you go through therapy and you realize so much stuff um, from your childhood. Yes. And it isn't even the fault of the parent trying to do things or not doing things. It's It's a child's response to their environment. My environment was very rule-based. 